from 0 to 2 of x cubed dx, or the area under the curve of x cubed from 0 to 2, using trapezoidal rule and four partitions. Well, if we're going from 0 to 2, and we have four partitions, that means that each of my partitions has a width of 2 over 4, which is just 0.5. So going from what we did in the past, we'll start off at x equals 0. Here's x equals 0.5, x equals 1, x equals 1.5, and x equals 2, using the fact that each of our partitions has to be 0.5 apart. Now we're going to have trapezoids going between each of these different partitions. So we're going to have four trapezoids here. And I like to create my trapezoids in the air without any real graph around. So here's one trapezoid. Let's call this another trapezoid. Here's another trapezoid. And there's my last trapezoid right there. So using the formula, we can find the area under all of these trapezoids. My h here is 0.5, and by the formula we have h, which is 0.5, divided by 2, times 1 times f of 0, because that's my left bound of the trapezoids, and this leg only applies to one trapezoid, plus 2 times f of 0.5, and it's 2 times because 0.5 is the right-hand side of my first trapezoid, as well as the left-hand side of my second trapezoid. Plus, again, 1 here is the right-hand side of my second trapezoid, and the left-hand side of my third trapezoid, so we have 2 times f of 1. 1.5 is also an interior trapezoidal column, so we have 2 times f of 1.5, plus finally our endpoint on the right, 2, which is only applied to one trapezoid, so it's just one of those, f of 2. And this is the formula for trapezoidal rule. Note that we have h over 2, my exterior legs, namely f of 0 and f of 2, only have a 1 in front of it, and everything in the middle, my interior columns, are all multiplied by 2. Now, f of 0, that's 0 cubed, that would be 0, 0.5, f of 0.5 would be 1 half cubed, that's 1 eighth, f of 1 is 1 cubed, that would be 1, f of 1.5 is 3 halves cubed, that's 27 over 8, and finally f of 2 would be 2 cubed, that's just 8. And when I multiply the sum of all of those times 0.5 over 2, this is 4.25. And that is the approximation of the area under the curve of x cubed using trapezoidal rule with four partitions. Now take a look at this. This is the actual graph. The red line is y equals x cubed from 0 to 2. And the blue lines are the trapezoids that are used to approximate the area underneath the curve. And we can see that this approximation is a lot better than the Riemann approximations using uh, LRAM, RRAM, or MRAM.